So, I heard that my mom set up this date for you and I. Yes, that would indeed be the case. Your mom is a very kind and gentle woman. She has literally told me so much about you. So, you are a singer, sketch artist, and voice impressionist. How does that work out for you? Well, I try my best to be consistent under all those fields that you just described. Sometimes people want to take advantage of my work ethic by asking for stuff for free. Well, hopefully I know where you draw the line on that because your mom showed me some of your most recent work projects and I must say I am quite fascinated, believe it or not. I really, really do appreciate that. But enough about me, let's talk about you. So you're also a singer and on top of that, you're a dancer. How does that work out for you? Well, basically, like you said, people like to take advantage of somebody's hard work for their benefit. But at the end of the day, just like you, I like to look at the positive stuff that people have done for me. That is quite an excellent way to look at it. So, do you see yourself as spiritually awakened? Well, I know so far that if people were to do their research, they would know that Jesus was born with bronze skin, fiery eyes, and hair like wool. And don't even get me started on the mixed race couple Joseph and Mary, Joseph being a white man and Mary being a black woman. <laughs> wow, you really are definitely in tune. Thank you so much, I really do appreciate that. So how much do you respect your mother, and do you put her as the top priority? Of course, I will always show love and appreciation for my mother, and I will always put her at the top priority, because at the end of the day, she didn't have to give birth to me. She literally carried me in her stomach throughout. Any man that puts his mother first is a true good man in my book. And as a side note, I never would want to take advantage of a really good man who truly respects his mother by simply ripping him away from his mother and just taking everything he has, such as his money and everything else that goes along with it. I just don't want to take advantage of a good man like that. Your mother should be very, very proud. She is, thank you. You are definitely quite the handsome man, I must say. And of course, you are simply beautiful. I was hoping, um, would it be alright if we kissed? Well, um, as long as you're comfortable with it, I mean, I don't bite. Okay. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, love is not about race or gender. Love it's not about sex. Sex is lust. In the end, love is about chemistry. And chemistry is not built. It comes naturally. Stop looking at the physical. And focus on the spiritual. You should be allowed to be with whoever you choose. No one should judge you on your choice for a partner. Because as long as they are spiritually awakened, and they love you and respect you and your views, as long as they respect who you are, nothing, nothing else, else matters, matters but, but your love, love for one, one another. another.